Next on, the Psychic Vincent Sisters. Suzanne and Jean travel to the Northland Library in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They lecture. They will be search and rescuing probably the next couple months. And contact Helen. Helen? Who's Helen? Helen? That's our mother. Mom's gone? Yes. yes. For 25 years, sisters Suzanne Vincent and Jean McKenzie Vincent have worked as psychic profilers, psychic investigators, and have successfully worked with law enforcement to locate missing persons and cold-blooded killers. Today, the sisters reach the other side on the Psychic Vincent Sisters. I am Suzanne Vincent, and I am a psychic criminal investigator and a psychic medium, and I work with law enforcement and families in helping them retrieve their loved ones who have gone missing. Uh, some of the things that I do with law enforcement is that I will get a vision about a person who is missing or a location, uh, and they will start looking for that in their uh, files. So I am just an extra tool in uh, investigative skills and for families to use a psychic tool. We just came down uh, Ridge Avenue, so let's take a check and see if there's energy over there at the um, train track. So let's go over there and get a vibration and try to find this and then see if we can somehow get into that building and see if that building has um, anything to do with the marker as being an old building. Uh, my name is Jean McKenzie Vincent. I am a psychic medium and I am also a psychic criminal investigator. A lot of the markers are here in this park and now we're going to look for the train for the train station and other markers that uh, we had mentioned but several are here. And what I do I work with um, law enforcement and I work with families who have had either someone abducted or missing and I work with uh, utilizing and assisting all people who are involved with this be it the law enforcement detective trying to find where the person may be hopefully alive if they are missing or if it's a cold case to to go for a recovery of a missing body your grandma that was probably doing the like then you know strong um, Helen who's Helen Helen? That's her mother. Mom's gone? Yes. Yes, yes her mom's here. She's not gone. She's here. She's I right know. here. But she just whispered in my ear, Helen. Okay? And so, girl, stand up. Stand up. They said the mother's name was Mom. A little paranormal activity, a little bit of, I kind of sense she was a little joint effort getting that light on, on and off, on and off. But I'm also getting the sense that if you're going to come here to someone who's a medium and a channeler, Mom's coming through. I'm going to say hello to let you girls know that I'm okay. Understand? One of you are having more issues than the other on please bring mom in. Where is mom? I need the drinks. I need to, let her, I need to know she's with me. And I'm going to tell you, she is with you. She said her name to me and she got me. Do you feel chills or heat? I know it's kind of warm in here, but <laughs> sometimes you feel, you feel the energies. And yes. Well, you guys are, are already trained, so you should be. Um, hello from heaven. Helen, very, very clearly. I do feel, um, I see her standing between the two of you. She's given me a very beautiful uh, face, not very old. Is she like in her 30s? 51. Okay, but she looked younger for her age. Okay, and she has a lighter colored hair, mm -hmm. and also very petite, like they used to make fun of her, like 5'1 or 5'2, and she's standing between the two of you right there, and letting you know that she <laughs> is with you, and giving you hugs, and then she's going down the aisle and hugging uh, I think there's a daughter, a sister, and a, and, a, and a niece. Is that correct? So they're giving you all hugs here. She tells me that um, she, I see tears coming down her face, and she's telling me she didn't want to go. So illness took her. She's showing me that something just basically uh, rotted out her body. And when I get that feeling, it's something like breast cancer. Was it breast cancer? And she's showing me that it was up in here that uh, caused her to die. And she just tells me that... Um, Remember her smile. Remember how she was before she got sick because she suffered and she, her and vibration. I do see the white light around you too mm -hmm. and the girls. She is in heaven and she is praying. I read auras and the first thing I do is I look around the room and see who is the brightest, the most purplest aura and I usually go over to them and start a reading. 
Also, my spirit guide will shout names to me, John, Robert, and I will go over there and start a reading and start to give a message uh, from the spirit guide and loved ones to the person there with the aura. Um, and there is also, when you have your grandkids, mm -hmm. mom will, grandma will also know and be around them, understand? She says, you especially, you've had the dreams. You've had the, I've seen you, I've been around you. You're kind of like my channeler, you're my communicator. Um, so you might even be a lot like mom too, grandma, <laughs> understand? Um, one little little problem though, someone has the, 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 the blues a little bit. I don't know if it's not understanding the gift or if it's just taking on too much in one chunk, but we gotta watch out for getting the blues. So learn the tools to protect yourself. I know I wanna help the family, but if you wanna start branching out, you've gotta learn the tools, because it, it, it takes so much of your energy, you're starting to get a little bit of depression, not know where it's coming from. So you're absorbing, you're absorbing. You're, is that, you wanna validate that, is that correct? Um, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're, you've had the dreams, you've heard her, you, sense, you smell her, had the sense. Um, she's trying to come to you, but sometimes you're just kind of like, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I know you girls are in Reiki, too, but she sends, uh, I'm not a doctor, but she sends a warning to somebody right in this group here to get things looked at. I think there's something going on, and she wants a second opinion. I do feel a wedding. I see, I'm seeing a wedding cake. <laughs> okay. So is that you? So um, um, I, I see the wedding cake. I see like three or more tears. So it's like bring on all the relatives. The wedding cake <laughs> image came to me through Helen, who was a spirit of uh, the spirit was the mother of Mary. She had shown me a wedding cake, and she had shown me that I'm going to attend Elizabeth's wedding. I will be there. I had seen a three-tier wedding cake, and Elizabeth validated, yes, I am getting married, and my cake will look just like that, with three tiers. Um, I'm going to be there, I'm, so check for orbs at the wedding, and at the, you know, all the events leading up to it. I'm, go I'm not going to miss it. Do you think I'm going to miss a good, <laughs> bring on the food and the, and the drink? No. Okay. She'll be there. I also see a, a man in here uh, that comes between two of you. Um, I was seeing a man who had diabetes. Who's that? Is he with us? Yes. Okay. He's got it pretty bad. That's what they're saying. We're really, we're really going to keep an eye on this. And we've got to, you know, make sure we don't lose any limbs. But he's like, if things happen where it can cause it. So pay attention. Pay attention. Even though he's looking pretty fit oh, yeah. now, I see he's lost some weight and he's been working out and doing some good things. Um, he still has the underlying disorder right. that's going to sneak up and, and maybe get his limb. And uh, I keep hearing a name with an R around you, too. Is, there, is that who you're uh, marrying? What's your, what's your boyfriend's name? Garrett. Garrett? Mm -hmm. And what's your husband's name? Roy. Okay, well, there's, there's a warning for the R. So Roy might be a little sicker than you think he is. So if you make him do what he needs to do, you can sneak up on him and he might lose a limb. You know what I'm saying? And you could all feel who we're bringing in. You guys all have the gift, which is which is great. So check for the at the wedding, check for the orbs, check for the just they'll be there. Uh, even at the baptismal too, check there too. I do feel children, and they'll be there. Also, you are very gifted, and you all see uh, angels and visions. You are so gifted. You see what you're doing. You're on the right path. And I, I think I'm picking up on. Helen, who is our grandmother, so quickly, it didn't take long for them to, you know, connect with us. The person that started with the R, that's actually our dad. Okay, so we're going to go home and take care of that right away and see that he does what needs to be done. We did channel a message from God to make them just know Grandma's okay, and and I'm happy that they're, they're happy with, with the message that they received. I think the family took away a lot of peace and closure, knowing that their loved one was safe and happy on the other side of the veil.